Praise God, praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I hope that you guys are having a blessed night tonight. I wanted to get up on here. I just got through with class and um, I just, something was on my heart and my spirit and I just have to talk about it. Praise God, praise God. Whew, let me walk this thing out, God. Hallelujah, hold on. I'm going to go ahead and get a scripture up here. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Lord. I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I want to talk about something. And I don't just I don't just talk about stuff, y'all. Hold on a minute. Praise God. Praise God. Hold on. Mm, okay. Hallelujah. I want to get up on here. And if you see my title, it says leaders, people need help and hope. Stop attacking people my god my god um fruits of the spirit hold on hold on i'm coming just want to make sure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay all right in Gal galatians 5 23 it says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control i'm gonna read that again for the ones in the back hold on galatians 5 23 says but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and last self-control <sighs> my god my god let me walk this out it is too many leaders not displaying what I've just read. It's okay to be stern. It's okay to be a correction leader. It's okay to say what does say at the Lord. Trust me because I do it all the time. But there's a balance, God says, that must be met every time. Some of y'all just mean. Some of y'all just nasty. And I don't care. You could be anointed. And most of you are. The ones I'm talking about, you are very anointed. But you always breaking people's spirit. That's not of God. We don't do it that way. If you can't build the people, you can't you can't just build them. You can't try to break them down and not build them up. What am I saying? God says that y'all are breaking people's spirit. Stop that. And I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm going here. because, And I don't have to say no name. Y'all know what's going on. You don't call people a nobody. You don't attack people. I get attacked all the time. In person, through Facebook. I could really, y'all y'all know my past. Y'all know where I come from. I come from the street. I'm, I'm not the one. But when I said yes to God... When I said yes to this calling, that was that was that was it. I don't get to say what I want to say. I don't get to do what I want to do. I don't get to act how I want to act. That's not of God because then I'm a liar. That's if the Holy Ghost is in me. That's if the Holy Spirit is in me because I just read the fruits of the Spirit. I just read that. We're breaking people. That's why the church is in trouble now. There, there, there's a situation that, you know, I'm still not understanding. You know, people, God did not call us to break each other's spirit. And hold on, I'm not talking about just leaders. I'm talking about everybody. Go back to your first love. Jesus was moved with compassion. As a matter of fact, I'm going to the scripture. I'm not playing with you I'm going to the scripture. I, I, I'm, I'm going I'm to I'm hit it in scripture. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's just too much going on. It's, it really is. It, and then y'all talking about y'all anointed. How are you anointed? Jesus never did that stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We got to do better. We got to do better. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Matthew 14, 14 to 21 says, And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude, and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. When it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, This is a deserted place and the hour is already late. Send the multitudes away that they may go to into the village to buy themselves food. But Jesus said unto them, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. 
And they said to him, We have here only five loaves and two fish. She said, Bring them here to me. Then he commanded the multitudes to sit down on the grass. And he took the five loaves and two fish. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke and gave the loaves to the disciples. And the disciples gave to the multitudes. So they all ate and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of fragments that remained. Now those who had eaten about was five thousand men besides women and children. What am I saying? There's a miracle when you have compassion for people. Look what happened. And I'm not saying that we should be... I'm serious. My, my spirit is just so vexed. My spirit is so vexed because it's like, what are we doing? What is the church doing in this hour? It seems like everybody's running after money, honey, funny, a man, a woman, a brand, or this or that. We ain't running after God. Not for real. People need hope and help in this hour. Because truth be told, everybody got a problem. Everybody's hurting. We all got some stuff. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody above nobody. And let me tell you something. No one is above correction. I'm going to say that again. No one is above correction. I'm going to say that again. No one is above correction. Because y'all famous ones, or y'all ones that have a, a little name, or even something that God blessed you with, you think that you are above correction. The devil is a lie. Stop acting all arrogant and prideful. Saying some of the stuff y'all saying and nobody's supposed to tell you nothing. Well, I'm going to say something and I don't care if you never speak to me. Hallelujah. You don't run nothing. We're sick of it. And God is not too pleased either. But don't worry. Because now I'm about to prophesy. That's why there's a switching of the guards. Hallelujah. I'm going to say that thing again. That's why there's a switching of the guards. Why you think y'all going down? Not trying to be ugly. And, and, and y'all trying to y'all trying to revamp it. And God say, how can you revamp it when you haven't even come to me and repent it? Or even to your brothers and sisters. And now you're attacking people. And I'm not calling nobody. This is real. You know what anointing is? And God told me this. And I said it on my class tonight. The anointing is the power of God mixed with love. That's the anointing. And that's what Jesus did. Even the woman at the well. He said, if you knew who it was that asked you for water, you would give it to me. Leaders, we're supposed to allow God to use us to build up the people. Yes, correction is in order sometimes. Rebuke all that. But it is a way that we're supposed to do it. You know, and I had to get that thing right. Y'all know back in the day, I was, y'all know, I admit it. I was doing too much. God had to pull my coattail. And ever since then, I find God. I would do it just the way you said it because this is your ministry. Oh, there it is. This is not our ministry. We're just ministers. But this is Jesus Christ's ministry. And this is Jesus Christ's people. And how dare you break his people? How dare you, you, you name his people a nobody and all this other stuff? And, and some of y'all do it so arrogantly. That's not God. That's not God. But you know what? You're hurting. In this hour, so many leaders are hurting. They're trying to preach and they're broken. You can't preach when you're broken. You can't. Because you're, when you're broken, you're going to bleed on people that didn't cut you. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. And I'm not trying to bash nobody because that, that's not my spirit. But we got to do better. I'm going to say we got to do better. In every area of our lives. Let me tell you something. Oh, I'm about to walk that thing out. Jesus went to hell. But he don't act like the devil. He went to hell to get the keys. Just because I'm going to use myself. Just because I used to be this and that. I don't get to operate like that in the kingdom of God. The, the, you see, you don't get to operate where you've been. You got to operate where you're going or where, where you're going. Come on, somebody. And if Jesus Christ have touched you, have anointed you, have appointed you, that should be some kind of evidence. Joy, peace, love, long-suffering, all the fruits of the Spirit. Hallelujah, like I just said. I pray that we get it together. Because y'all doing a little too much. And then when God gets you, and God will, then you're going to want to cry. Just like I said in class tonight, the world has came into the church and taught us the ways of the world, carnality. We say anything before God. 
We talk to people crazy. We talk about people. We get in the pulpit. Y'all better stop that, God said. I'm going to say it again. Y'all better stop that. That pulpit is for salvation. Hallelujah. Revelation. That is not for you to get there and tell what people then did, how they did you, and what you're going to do, and who you are. And you don't get to brag and boast about what God did in your life. Because if it had not been for the Spirit of God, you could do nothing but by God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah to his name. My God, my God, my God. That's all I want to get up on here and say. We got to do better. People are hurting. I'm going to say it again. If you're not preaching help and hope, then don't preach. Go ahead and just retire. Hallelujah. Because the remnant that's coming up, and I'm part of it, we're not going to let you keep hurting God's people. We're not. We're going to start calling you out, and then y'all going to be like, uh, 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 who is she? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> All right, y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.